my guest which is Ida Rabana and she used to live in Brattleboro but now she lives in Santa Barbara California Yay. culinary artist to the stars Yay. and all around wonderful interesting delightful funny joyous generous beautiful person thank you to so thank you so much for coming and part of the reason that Ida is here is that she is catering are my fundraiser. Which I'm super excited about, I have to say. It's going to be such a lovely evening, and I can't wait. I can't wait either. I can't wait. so interesting that you know you you have always loved food and bringing people together around food and not just food but like delicious food and <laughs> you put a lot of energy and care and time and and I'd say love into yeah, your food for sure and can you say so can you talk about that like where did that come from because to me I'm like give me the ba the box of macaroni let's make this the cake okay, come on but you yeah. you know like you don't do that well I think partially it's like a cultural thing mm -hmm. because you know, my parents are from North Africa, and so we grew up eating these elaborate meals mm -hmm. with multiple courses, and my mom's actually a really good cook. And so going to Tunisia in the summertime, all the women would gather in the kitchen and on the sort of verandas and, and prepare the meals for the day. And so I, I kind of felt like all the juicy stories mm -hmm. happened in the kitchen. So that's where I wanted to be as a small child uh -huh. because I wanted to get the scoop on what's happening oh. with everyone. Yeah, so it was a real social event. So it was really social to, to be preparing food. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think that's partially it. Tell us about the style of food that you enjoy cooking. Um, I really am a firm believer of, in like local, organic, kind of farm to table, mm -hmm. that, that concept of it goes from the farmer to your kitchen and there's not a lot of mucking around in between because of process. the process. Well, if the ingredients are really good and really high quality and really natural, you don't really need very much. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my two key ingredients that I use other than the natural ingredients themselves are lemon juice and olive oil. So I use that probably in everything I make. Mm -hmm. And it's simple and clean and yeah. often very delicious. Oh. Nice. 
Business. Tell me, like, what is Um Sweet Mama's? Um Sweet Mama is um, a catering company that I created three years ago, mm -hmm. and it's suddenly taking off quite well in Santa Barbara, which I'm really excited about. And um, it has three different components, really. I'm a private chef for a few um, actors and celebrity authors in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. And then there's another branch, which is the salad dressings. Yep. And I make local seasonal salad dressings, and they sell them in farmer's market delivery boxes, mm -hmm. services, in Santa Barbara and in L.A. Mm -hmm. And then the third branch is a catering slash um, events right. service. And so we do a lot of work high for... High-profile stuff. Yeah, usually yeah. high-profile. Mm -hmm. We just did an event for Archbishop Desmond Tutu. My husband runs a nonprofit in Santa Barbara called the Nuclear Age Peace Foundation, mm -hmm. and so they were hosting Archbishop Tutu. And is it and true that I understand? Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it so? Is it true that um, you sang this the South African anthem to Desmond Tutu over yeah, breakfast? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I usually am not that forward. But, Can you um, sing it now? Can you sing it for us? Well, I'll sing a little bit of okay. it. I'm not, I'm not the best singer in the world, as <laughs> Isla knows, but I'll tr give it a whirl. Thanks for putting me on the spot. That's what I'm here for. In Kosi Sikaleli Afrika Soetu um, do you love what you do? Do you love cooking? Are you happy? Is this oh my like God. your sweet this spot? Is, this is my sweet spot for <laughs> sure, Deshae. It's, um, it brings me so much joy. It's hard to explain really. It's just something that I, it sort of resonates with my inner being and mm -hmm. um, I think it really comes out in the food that I make. Mm -hmm. So. For sure. When you're working and in your sweet spot, as you like to call it, um, people are definitely very receptive to that. And the, mm -hmm. the food, I don't mean to sound too West Coast, but it carries this like vibrational energy. And when you're eating it, you get happy just yeah. by eating it. Yeah. So it's definitely, I have love working in my sweet spot and hopefully the people that eat my food it enables them to to feel their sweet spot and and sort of bring it into fruition in their own lives. Mm -hmm. 